everyone and welcome to Real Spooky Stories, the place where I tell your real spooky stories. This is officially episode one, so I'm excited. And this is going to be my story. So on here, this is a non-judgmental space. So I want to hear your stories. If it's literally just, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I've said this before, I'll say it again. If you've just put something down and then it's moved somewhere else, I want to know. I'm just nosy and I think a lot of people just like hearing about real people's experiences and stories and yeah I just want to hear about them anything anything at all any if you've ever seen a UFO or just anything you can't explain or unknown I just want to know so if you want to share your story just email jade at crypticcoven.uk or you can follow me on Instagram and click the email button in my bio at crypticcoven but I'll leave the information below anyway if you want to do that. So let's get into my story. Yeah, I am, if you can see me and you're watching the YouTube video, I obviously am wearing my pumpkin jumper just because it's October now and it feels right. If you're listening to the podcast, I am sorry that you can't see it. I just want to say like all these experiences aren't crazy. Like there's nothing like crazy. Like it's just loads of little things really. And I'm just going to go over one house <laughs> for now. I think I've lived in about four or five, about four houses, I think, over my years. But this is the one which had the most things going on, I think. But we also really didn't realise it until we moved out. And I was young as well, so I, th I feel like if these things happen to me now, I'll probably be scared. So I think we moved into the house around 2003 or something i was about five i might have been younger than five but i know it was at least five because i remember i turned six in the house so i could have been younger than five but anyway on our first night and i did not know this until we moved out but my dad said they heard like footsteps on the upstairs hallway when they when we were all in bed and he said he just turned to me mom and said oh no like what have we got into we've only just moved in as in like, oh no, we're gonna have to deal with this all the time now. And we've just moved in. But anyway, we didn't know about that at the time. So some things that happened at the time. So it was like, we did have central heating as well. And I remember, I don't know why I did this, but the central heating used to like really make a really weird noise through like the through the walls kind of I remember me and my sister she's I think she's like I think <laughs> she's like three years younger than me so she was obviously like younger than me but we used to play with our dolls and stuff on the upstairs hallway I don't know why we did this actually I don't know why we didn't just play in one of our rooms but we used to like playing on the upstairs hallway with our dolls and my I don't know but I remember the heater when the heating always used to come on it was really like loud and it was a really whale whale like a ghostly whale noise and it was proper it was like a howl it was really weird and it went on for like it probably went on for like 10 seconds I might be exaggerating so I was a child <laughs> and it probably wasn't 10 seconds it was probably more like three but no um that was just weird I mean I don't think that was ghostly I don't think it was anyway but I remember we always used to just look at each other kind of when that did that and we'd just be like because it was a bit scary but okay anyway that's yeah my dad also used to say and this is all this was also after we moved out that they used to come down a lot in the morning and the telly would be on tv would be on that could obviously just be an electrician thing but yeah that used to be on all the time well more than once i think but anyway so one time these are my experiences now one time i was lying in bed and I had a single bed like in the corner of the room and my TV was in the other corner of the room, like the opposite corner. I remember lying in bed and I heard like, we always used to play on the PlayStation and stuff and watch DVDs and stuff or whatever. So we used to, I don't know why we did this, we never used to put the DVDs back in the cases. We always just have, used, we always just had loads of loose discs out, which is so annoying. I don't know why we did that, how annoying is that? But anyway, we did that. And it sounded, I remember I was just lying in bed. I don't, I was nearly asleep or I was asleep. I remember, but I wasn't, it wasn't like, I wasn't fully awake. But anyway, the noise woke me up. And it was like one of them fell off, like, my TV stand. It was just, 
it weren't even, like there weren't even a, like a door slamming downstairs or anything at the same time it was just literally just that fell off and I know that can obviously just fall off by itself but I remember I was just scared <laughs> hearing that noise it was just weird and I remember another time I was lying in bed this was really weird and I don't know how I wasn't more scared I do remember being scared at this but I don't know how I wasn't more scared I remember I was lying in bed in the same place again and I think I woke up in the night and I could hear so my it was a single bed and I had carpet and it sounded like there was something underneath the bed like directly under me like wiggling around on the carpet and it was oh I don't oh the noise I can still hear it it was just it was really weird it was it was like someone was like lying and you know like when you're getting in bed and you're trying to get comfy and you like wiggle around it was like that but it was like on the carpet noise it was really oh it was just really weird I don't know I don't know how I wasn't more scared obviously did not look under the bed because I'm not a psycho but no I don't know what that was but I remember that that was weird and it scared me I remember another time too this was this was two things and I'm not sure if it was the same day but okay so we and my mum were sitting in the living room and I think nobody else was in the house I think yeah it must have just been us two I don't know why my sister and my dad were in my dad obviously must have been at work I don't know who my sister was anyway there was just us two in the house and we had like a couch here and a couch like on a right angle to it kind of and next to my like she was sitting on the other couch I was sitting on this couch and on the there was a bit there was a coffee table next to me it sounded like scratching underneath it was I don't know I just I pictured scratching underneath the coffee table like under the top table it was just like scratching I don't know it was a really weird noise and we both could hear it and we were both like what is that and it was just right next to me but I don't I do remember being scared as well I, I, I feel like all these experiences I wasn't that scared I, apart from the under the bed thing but oh and another thing but yeah I don't know but yeah it was weird anyway and I'm not sure if it was the same day but I remember sitting in the same place and it was only me and my mum again and we heard this like noise it was like a like a child's toy kind of noise like a you know when like you press the button and it talks or something it was like that and we were we were like both like what's that what was that then and I remember thinking I remember we had like these toys from McDonald's and oh something and I remember I was like oh a toy one of them little mini toys must have fell down the couch cushion and I remember standing up and I was pulling out the couch cushions my couch cushion that I was sitting on to try and see you know like if I'd moved and it fell down the back and it nudged it or something I remember doing that and there was nothing there so it was just weird but then later on I went upstairs and I went to the toilet and on the upstairs hallway floor was a Tigger toy and I I can't remember if I pressed it or like I, I took it down to my mum and I, I pressed it and it made like the Tigger noise and I said mum this was the noise what we heard and it was one of them where you have to press it for like the noise so it was yeah that was weird I mean I know I remember thinking at the time the doors were opening the other from the other rooms and like the sun shone in onto the hallway so I remember thinking at the time maybe the sun shone in and like hit it and it's made it go off or something I don't know I remember just thinking that at the time but yeah that was a, that was a weird one but that, again that was just me and mum experience that so that's a bit of a weird one we also had a you know them baby choo choo I think it was called and their skin was like weird I can't even think of it. it was like rubber yeah yeah okay I had that and you it like talks if you press the button or whatever but our one didn't have batteries in and it used to talk <laughs> okay I think I think I only did it like once or twice but it did do it without the batteries in yeah so that was a bit weird he said another time I was I feel like I was home alone but I don't know why I would have been home alone so Somebody must have been downstairs, like maybe just me mum or something. But I remember my sister had like the box room, like the small box room. And I think our dolls and stuff were in there because I was I went into her room and I was playing 
with the dolls on like I ha like we had like boxes under the beds of dolls and I was like pulling them out playing with them and I don't know I don't know why I wasn't just in my own room but I want I was in his anyway and I had like the I was sitting on the floor I was just playing with dolls and toys and whatever and I had like the bedroom door wide open on like into the hallway and I remember it just went like deadly silent and I remember just this like fear came over me and I remember I sat there for about it was literally like probably a good five or ten minutes and I know that doesn't sound long but sitting there with fear in silence is a long time for five or ten minutes but it was just like I was just scared I was just scared to move I remember I had I think I had like stuff in my hands and I was just I just stopped and I was just like I was just literally like stopped and I, I didn't want to stand up I didn't want to move I just it was just weirdly silent and I, I only had that that one time but yeah it was just a weird feeling I, I don't know where it came from or there was no noise or anything that made me like go into that state but I just I remember and I can't even remember what, what happened after that like if I just went back in my room or I just carried on like I, I don't know I think I think I left the room but it was like it was like it wasn't something in her room it was like it was just something I don't know it was like I felt like it was something from the hallway but I don't even know I just I didn't like expect to see anything or anything or I didn't think something was there I just I remember I was just it was just terror like I was just scared I was, and I was just stopped still yeah that was a, a weird experience and I, I've never had that before like apart from that one time so yeah I don't really know what that was it was probably just me being a kid and just I probably just thought what if something's here now and then scared myself like that but yeah it was just a bit weird another time as well we were playing upstairs me and my sister were playing on my bed it was a single bed like what I mentioned before in the corner and same as here same as here i had like toys toy boxes under the bed and stuff but we were playing on on the on top of the bed like just sitting on the bed and we had these like fabric dolls so like we had like a doll and a dog <laughs> each and like the so we had like two dolls each essentially and like we were um we were playing with them or whatever on top of the bed and then i remember my mum like shout i think she shouted us down for lunch or something and all said but anyway, we went. We both went down together, but we left the dolls on the bed, and then I think like we ate our lunch or whatever. And I, I said, let's play down. Why don't we play down here now? I'll, I'll go and get the dolls. So when I went upstairs, the dolls were under the bed. Like, not like they just fell off. They were like fully under the bed, and I remember there was like two toy boxes. And they were they were just in between the two toy boxes and I, it wasn't I had to get on my knees and get down and get them. It weren't like they just fell off or I don't I I wasn't even scared though at the time. I, I remember just thinking I remember just having oh that's weird, why are they under the bed? And then I, I got down, got them out and obviously just took them down and I was like, Oh they were just under the bed. Like it was just I knew that they couldn't have just fell off because they, they were like quite a bit under like I had to actually reach under and get them and thinking back now if that happened I will not be reaching under no bed for no dolls for nothing I wouldn't be reaching under a bed if, if I knew something was on top of the bed and then it was under the bed and I couldn't have just fell off and landed there I will not be reaching under there in this day and age so <sighs> baby jade well done Okay, and just the last thing is, um, I remember one time as well, we, I was going to bed or something. Yeah, it, it, we were going to bed. I think, I feel like my dad was taking me and my sister to bed and obviously we had our own separate rooms. My bed was in the same place. So if you look at my room from the hallway and the doors open, you can see my bed right there. But there was a pile of, like a really big pile of toys on the floor in front of my bed so like essentially just right in the doorway and it was like I remember it being like quite a high pile of toys I don't know how I had that many toys or why they were just in a big pile but anyway they were in a pile of toys probably like a little bit low than a little bit lower than like the, the size of my bed but I remember as I got to the top of stairs if you turned if you like you had to get to the top of stairs and turn that was my room facing you 
I remember as soon as I turned, there was this teddy on top of the pile. And as soon as I turned, it fell. It was kind of upright. And then as soon as I looked, it, it fell forwards in my room. I remember, like, I was just like, oh my god. I don't even think I said anything though. I just, I just like, was scared myself. But I would never touch that teddy again. <laughs> I literally would not touch that teddy again. I don't even know what happened to that teddy. I don't know. It was just so weird it, because it was like, it was like it was upright and then it fell forwards. And I was, I was thinking at the time. Maybe like us stepping off the top of the stairs, we stepped on some floorboards and it's like caused it to fall or something. But still, it scared me and even seeing that now would scare me as well. Like if I looked and I knew something moved, that would scare me. But yeah, that was like the, that was probably the weirdest thing to happen. But yeah, as I said, everything wasn't like... Everything wasn't a crazy experience. It was just little things, but I don't remember ever being like really scared or like. If, I feel like if that happened now, I would just be like, "I'm not going to that room again. I'm moving out. Let's get on Zoopla." Like you know, I just I feel like, yeah, no. It was just yeah, they were just weird times. But a lot of the things we didn't really acknowledge until after we left, and then we were like, "Oh, remember this?" And then, yeah, it was just. Hmm. But we moved out of the house in, I think it was about 2000 and maybe like 2010 or something. And we moved to a different house, which a few things happened in that new house, but I'll do a different video on them. Only a couple of things, so it's probably not even going to be a long video. Probably, th so we moved into a house after that. We then moved into another house. We then moved into a another house. And that's the house my family is still in now, but I've moved out, so... um. I probably like compile everything from them three, four houses, including this one, into one, because yeah, there's just not a lot, there's not a lot. But I just felt like as I was writing these things down, there was a lot. So <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd do a little video of all of my experiences. But yeah, that's the end of my experiences. So if you wanna share your experiences. You can write them in like a little paragraph form or like a little story form so I can literally just read it out or you can just bullet point it and I'll kind of put it into a bit of a story like the way I've just done with my own. Obviously I'm just telling mine from memory but you know. Um, yeah so if you want to tell your story email jade at crypticoven.uk or follow me on Instagram or we'll just do both anyway at cryptic coven and there's a little email button and you can click that or you can even just dm me or anything just get in contact even if it's a silly thing even if you don't believe in anything like this and you just had something happen that is a little bit weird and you don't know what the explanation is for it just message in because even if you don't have a clue about what it is somebody else might yeah i just want to know your spooky stories and tell them to the world for you but thank you so much for listening today and if you don't follow the YouTube channel, follow it at Cryptic Coven and also the Spotify podcast, which is Real Spooky Stories. I will link everything below and also Instagram, Cryptic Coven. So yeah, get in touch and I look forward to hearing your stories. Bye!